Hi, it's Grandpa Ricky again. Uh, hang on, I've got to get this uh, thing so that it's got electricity. This one is about how to suffer again. Nobody taught me how to suffer. I had to teach myself, and then eventually I got help from uh, therapists, from wise people, but I really got a lot of help from my grandmother. And my grandmother had died when she gave birth to my mother, and then my mother died when she gave birth to me and came back to life. And so they had this, this different view. My mother's favorite saying was, Ricky, do your best. That's good enough. And, and I would try to be good, and I would beat myself up that I couldn't meet her expectations or my dad's expectations or my teacher's expectations. And I thought that I was so stupid. Oh, my God. And I thought I was crazy. And so how do I do that? Well, I, I, my grandmother taught me, you just be patient, learn to relax, take deep breaths, Use your senses. <clears throat> and then I don't need to dissociate. When I catch myself starting to dissociate, watching too, much, too many Netflix movies or whatever, whatever it is, eating too much, um, talking too much, feeling kind of manicky, you know, where I'm just rushing around like crazy. Um, like, thank God I know how to be manic because I get a lot done. That's the gift of being, having tumble thoughts and, and having so much energy. When I was a kid, I, I would be shaking. I had so much energy. And so if you're like that, don't worry. You're not nuts. You just, you've had some traumas in your life and your ancestors have had traumas. And, uh, you know, the, the whole thing is come to your senses. They'll help you be present. And that's how you suffer, which is surprisingly simple. Nature, being out in nature, that helps me suffer. Whenever I feel really crappy, I go out and I look at the blue sky and I look at the green plants or I look at the white snow, what, whatever, whatever it is, but I'm using my senses. And, and I, I also want to make a video at some point, if somebody please remind me, about... <sighs> Uh, I, see, I'm, I'm, I'm speeding, I'm racing right now, I'm not present. So I have to come present again, breathe, I just had some water, and I'm calming. And now I'm able to come back to the idea that being in nature is really calming. Hugging trees is really calming. Uh, looking at things that I like really calming. So please spend some time and learn how to like things or dislike them. That's really all you got to know. I like it, I dislike it. When I like it, it feels like this. When I dislike it, I feel like this. <clears throat> and when I dislike something, it's usually because there's something that's, that's frightening me or parts of me. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, I'm sorry if I ramble. My granddaughters are driven crazy by my ramblings and by my, my, you know, just being so distracted. But I've learned to be patient and to take my time, do it right, take it easy, rest a lot. Um, so I hope you do too. And tell your stories. We need them. Okay, bye.